The world out there has changed so much, hasn't it? Especially with digital technology and its effect on how we communicate and learn. These new tools are essential to our lives. Nobody denies that. But with new tools come new challenges, as well as new opportunities. The dominant form of communication today, which is electronic communication, electronic text, whether sent via email or a cell phone, confronts us with two major challenges. First, electronic text is notoriously subject to misinterpretation because it lacks 97% of what we usually rely on to convey our messages whenever we talk face to face. And those, that 97% consists of vocal expressions, facial expressions, and gestures. What if we could put the two together? the speed and convenience of electronic text, email and cell phones, with the face-to-face -face connection, the intimacy and the personal contact of a live conversation or even live video. That would be a significant step forward, wouldn't it? And that step forward is exactly what this new program, iJot, promises. The speed and convenience of electronic text, email and text messages, along with the connection, the intimacy of a face-to-face -face conversation or live video. And it's fast. Look into the camera, speak your message, and hit send. That sound familiar? And it is exactly that fast and that easy. So let's take a look at this new program, iJot. To begin using iJot, direct your browser to www.ijot.com. The basic account is free and requires only that you sign up by clicking the Join Now for Free icon, then providing the usual information. Once you have an account, you need simply to click on the Login button at the top right, and after providing your user credentials, you will be taken to your personal iJot homepage. On the left, you'll see your iJot email box with three simple folders, Inbox, Sent, and Deleted. Sound familiar? However, before creating and sending a video email, you must first populate your friends list with potential recipients. So, click on Friends at the top of the navbar. On this next page, you can add the names of individuals one at a time for personal communications. However, you'll mainly be interested in importing a list of email addresses of students in a class. To do this, you must follow two steps. Step one is to create a group, and step two is to add a list of email addresses to that group. Okay, step one, create a group. First, click on the My Groups tab at the top of the interface. In the next window, click on Create Group, and in the dialog box that appears, give the group a name, the name of the class, and section number most likely, and then click Continue. Now you'll see the name of the new group you just created on the list. Next, you must create a list of friends to populate the group you just created. So, click on Friends tab at the top, Next, we'll import a list of email addresses. The easiest way to do this for a group of UMUC students is to use the class email function in the class roster. At this point, it's also important to remember that with a free iJot account, you can send to only 50 email addresses at once. So, if you're teaching multiple sections, you will probably need to create a separate iJot group for each class. In the class roster area, click on Check All, and then send an email to selected class members. Copy and paste the list of email addresses from the To line. Now return to iJot and paste in the list of email addresses. Next, 
Place a tick mark in the box next to Import into the Group colon. Then use the drop-down menu to select the name of the group you wish to add the email addresses to. Then click on Import into iChat. You will now be returned to your main friend screen and you will see the name of the new group. You're now ready to compose your video email. To create a new video email, double left click on the name of the group you wish to send the message to. The selected group will appear in the Compose Message pane on the right, and then the Flash Permission widget will appear. Click on Allow in the Flash Permission widget. Next, select the COG icon which is the iJot Setup Wizard. In the orange Setup dialog box that appears, click on Privacy Settings. In the next box, the Adobe Flash widget again, you can select which camera and microphone you wish to use. I click first on the camera icon. I have my webcam connected and on, so I make sure it is selected. Then I click on the microphone icon to select which microphone. I will use the Snowball mic. Then I test and set the volume level. A little bit of orange is okay, but if you ever see any red, turn down the volume. Next, select Reduce Echo unless you're in a soundproof room. The eye icon is for permissions. Select Allow and Remember so that you will not have to give permissions each time you wish to use iChat. Finally is the icon for hardware acceleration. If your computer has hardware acceleration, definitely use it. Click Close when finished. You're now returned to the Compose window. If you wish, in the Notes box, you can enter a text message to accompany your video message. You can also add attachments, but you must upgrade to the Pro version to use this function. To make your video, simply click on the big red record button. Look at the camera and start talking. To stop, press the black square stop button. To play back your video, click the play arrow. After reviewing, if you want to do a second take, simply click record again and you will record over the first. You can also upload a pre-recorded video from your computer. But again, you must upgrade to the Pro version, which is $30 a year or $2.50 a month. The Pro version is worth it if you're going to use iJot, since you will be able to save a video once you make it and send it multiple times. Once you're happy with the video, the list of recipients, any text or attachments, simply click Send iJot, and it's gone. On the receiving end, here is what the iJot email looks like. In the center is a screen capture from the video. Clicking on it takes the viewer to the iJot server where the video is stored. The sender's profile pic is below as well as any text that was entered into the email message. Back on the iJot page you can see some of the other functions. One neat feature is the recipient list. Clicking on it reveals the list of those who received the video and whether the recipient has watched and viewed the email. Knowing who and who hasn't viewed the email can be quite helpful to teachers. Okay, good luck with your use of iJob.